Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. We got the hiker loaded up. Got a little weekend trip up to Petoskey. We'll take you along. Talk to you later. Do you want a bottle of water? No, it should be good. <laughs> Alrighty. Love having the Dometic 50 right here. Easy to get in the back of the truck. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. We're up here in Petoskey, Michigan and did a little anniversary getaway. And on this trip, we decided to shoot a video on dimensions. We get asked all the time about the dimensions of the trailer, the interior height, the width, how the queen bed fits, the galley layout and so on. So today's video is all gonna be on dimensions and measurements. And if we missed any, put it down in the comments and we'll see if we can take care of it next time. So this would be a five by nine and it truly is nine foot right to the end of the trailer. And we are truly five foot to the end. 52 so with a five by nine trailer, you're gonna be roughly 50 inches to here where you connect to your truck, about 50 inches. So the top of the trailer, it's 68 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the trailer. So the ground to the bottom of the trailer, uh, if you go to the sill, it's about 23 inches. So the door measures about 38 and a half. 24. The inner of the door would be about 24 inches. So from the ground to the fender is right around 32 and a half. Window measures 28 by 18 inches. So we'll start on the inside. So 58 in an inch, 58 inches wide going across door jam to door jam so we have the 5 by 9 with a 24 inch galley and if we take a measurement from our back wall which is totally closed off minus the pass through and we run the tape all the way to the front running at 80 inches so on the interior in the front which is the lowest part from the floor to the ceiling 39 and, a half. 39 and a half inches. We're at about 43 and a half. So on the rear part of the trailer, interior measurement on our five by nine, we go from here, we got about maybe a half inch of that matting there. Quarter inch. Quarter inch, okay. And what's your measurement up there? 43 and a half. 43 and a half to the top. That's the tallest part in the trailer, I think. Uh, heard other people say 44 is a good measurement. Our ten inches so deep. the front storage ones, they are 10 inches deep. 10 deep. By 7. By 7. You got to remember there is a slight taper here coming back. That's the overall. So these front parts, which I think are the same, they're different. So it's 
19 by five. 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 19 by five openings. These are different than than the ones you see back here in the rear. So our pass through is about 14 inches. 20. By 20 inches. So 14 by 20 for the center pass through. So on the top, remember, this is based off your measurements that you give Hiker. We had a certain size tub we wanted to put in the top. So our inner dimension is seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters deep. And that gives us a storage space. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing. And ten and a half inch high. Seven, ten and a half inches high and seven and three quarters deep for those little storage nooks that you see in the top. Then the openings 20 end up being 20 by six by six. So one thing we get asked is how tall is it on the inside? We have a six inch mattress. So it is 36. 36 from the top of the mattress to the ceiling. We have 36 inches of height. And if you're thinking about putting some curtains in, you got an area approximately what? Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters inches to be able to mess with. And we just did the command hooks with the rod. It works for great. So on the front of the trailer, you have 23 and a half from here to our mattress. So what we're thinking of doing is building a shelf right here across just below the air conditioning port. Well, this is the large toolbox. 17 inches. 17 across the top. By 47. By 47 wide. inches so then on the opening you have about 14 and a half inches to be able to get a larger item inside the toolbox by 45 and a half, by 45 and a half. talk about the roof rack this is our roof rack they could change things but I'm just giving you dimensions of what we currently have at this time so from the ground to the bar here is 71 and a half. Now, this measurement here is going from end cap uh, to the outside end cap, and we've got about 46 inches. So because the bars stick out a little further, the measurement is from the other side of the bar to this side is 66 inches. So now we're at the back and we got a couple of special circumstances. Um, so from here, the bottom of the lower shelf, basically a floor, the bottom one measures um, about 16, roughly 16 and a quarter, but there is a little bit of a lip there. So that's probably a good half inch. Then the middle one, is 15 15 but with the lip between here and here the lip makes it the opening 14. with the lip it's about 14 inches so because this opening is measured to fit this container that's what we asked hiker to do we are about seven and a half inches from here to here they lowered the shelf for us to make this container fit so we ordered the shelf divider, and that's why there's no holes here. It's closed off. And that with that shelf divider, it ends up being about 15 inches. Mm -hmm. So this option is called a 24 inch galley because we're 24 inches, as you can see, um, from the slip 
to the back pass through. And then that means the bottom one is exactly the same, 24 inches. So as you can see, we're completely closed off. On the bottom, we have the galley pass through in the middle and we're sealed off the top. This creates a very bug free environment for sleeping. And we have the net on there, so that protects anything from getting it. Love the net. So from the ground to the hitch, as you can see, we're about 14 and a half to the bottom of it, to the top of the hitch, about 17 and a half. So clearance from the spare tire. I get asked this all the time. So it's about nine inches. Um, it's probably a little bit deceiving on camera, but yeah, it's around nine inches, kind of eyeballing at nine and a half, somewhere in that area. Now from that to the bottom of the trailer, on the inside here, which you can't see with my camera, but I'm looking at about 19 and a half inches. So our rear table from the wall of the trailer is about 38 inches. The width of the table, around 15. Then we put our fridge down here, so about counter height. We run the table around 36 inches. So these are breakfast boats. So we've got hash brown on the bottom layer, egg, cheese, bacon, and a little boat with some fresh fruit. Wonderful breakfast. So what are we having tonight? Making a little balsamic jam chicken. This is a Tuscan grain salad. Then we have some sweet potatoes with a little bit of rosemary mixed in with it. And then I'm gonna be growing up some peaches. So anniversary dinner is done. And it's looking Yummy. So this is a nighttime shot. The Oz four wheel drive light kit. Absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see it in the video. There's a ton of spill light. Those light sticks you can configure any way you want. And they are really, really bright. So we mounted our puck lights, two under the front part of the galley, and we put two on the back walls. Behind our heads, because our heads sleep here, so it works out well. This is the blue, comes with this little remote. There's white, remote's nice. We got 50%, 100%, red, Green, blue, fade, which goes through a whole bunch of different colors. Works really well. Illuminates no problem.
Okay, hope that answers all your questions. Like I said in the intro, if there's anything we missed, please leave it down in the comments. We will help you out as much as we can. Share, like, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.